As was her daily routine, Rhys, Princess of Laurent, the Kingdom of Wind, was performing her duties as captain of the Amazon Guard. I will take care of it. Observe! Captain Reese, please be careful. I will not allow monsters to upset the peace of Laurent. Stay true! Stay true! Justin! Stay true! Attack! Prepare! I did it! It is as I feared. The monster population has increased. And... I can feel it. The haunting cries of the wind. The mountainous kingdom of Laurent. Atop the crags and treacherous terrain sat the formidable, impenetrable Citadel Laurent. Thanks to its elite guard of Amazonian fighters, enemy forces had never managed to breach the Citadel defenses. Until... Now then! It is time for my brother's training. Where has Elliot run off to?
Father, have you seen Elliot? <laughs> Interesting question for a blind man, but I sense his location. Give me a moment. Hmm. He is not far. I assume he is still on the ground. I am certain you will find him if you search. That boy, where could he be? He knows what time it is. Have you seen my brother recently? Oh, how strange. I would have assumed that the young prince would be together with you, your highness. He hardly ever seems to leave your side after all. Prince Elliot never knew his dearly departed mother before she passed. But you have done an admirable job filling her shoes, your highness. The Princess of Laurent had but one brother, Elliot. Their mother passed away just as the prince was born. She did not live to see her son. The young Reese would never forget the moment her mother slipped away, just as her dear little brother was brought into the world. All of Laurent mourned the Queen's passing, but Rhys only found peace alone on their sacred mountaintop. There she cried until the tears wouldn't come. Always a kind-hearted child, Rhys swore to show her brother as much love and affection as she could to make up for the loss of their mother. She took on the responsibility of raising him as best as she could. Mother... Elliot! Where are you? Hey! Young, young Prince! Prince. Huh? Prince of the Citadel, right? <laughs> Wanna see something interesting, little boy? Ta da! I just happen to be a wandering magician performing in these mountains. I'm here to show you some tricks, young prince. Look! Ooh! Wow! Now, feast your eyes on my multiplying tricks! 
Canada! Ooh, wow! I have many more tricks up my sleeve. You know the passage under the citadel? I can show you more tricks if you take me there. Come on, let's go, little prince. It's time to train. Would he really have gone under the citadel?
are you? Come on! Show me the tricks! No need to rush, young prince. First things first. <clears throat> I'm Bill. And I am called Ben! Aww! I thought you said you multiplied yourself! Show me something good! Never fear, never fear! We have a big surprise in store for you! Come on, kid! I mean, your highness! Huh? I bet a smart boy like you knows what's in this room. <laughs> of course I know! This is the room where we control the winds that protect Laurent. But you need this royal key to operate it. Hmm... You know what? I have an idea. How about you turn off the wind with that key, huh? If you do, we can bring your mother back to you with our super secret magic trick! Don't you want to see her? If the wind wasn't so strong, she could come down from the heavens and see you. So how about you turn it off for her sake? My mother? I can see my mother? Uh, but my sister Reese said I could never turn off the wind. Oh, you poor child. Your sister is lying to you. She knows that our magic can bring your mother back, but she's trying to keep her all to herself. It's so unfair, don't you think? What? No! Hurry! Your sister might come and stop you at any moment! Elliot! Where are you? See? Here she comes now. If you don't stop the wind, you may never get another chance to see your mother. <sighs> but... Come on, kid. Ugh, just do it already. Ah! <gasps> Elliot! Who are you, scoundrels? Step away from my brother! <laughs> <laughs> we did it! Without the wind, this citadel isn't so tough. Our Navarlin forces are already prepared to invade. They're probably storming the castle as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> the thieves of Navarre will take Citadel Laurent and make it the seat of our new nation. Think of it! We'll be stealing a castle. It'll be our last big raid, but what a way to go! <laughs> You're nothing but filthy spies! Uh, you don't have time to fight us, Princess. How is your blind leader supposed to defend himself without his trusty captain of the guard? Hmm? No! Elliot! We have to get to Father! Well, 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 look at that. Your sister left you here to save her own skin. She doesn't care about you at all. Now, come with us. No, no, she wouldn't. Reese! Shut up. <laughs> Wait, where's Elliot?
Halt! spread throughout the citadel once the wind stopped. Go! Save the king. Father! And now Elliot is gone. I let them get away. <laughs> I see that Elliot is no longer in the Citadel. The enemy has him. <laughs> Please, Reese. You must get him back. Father! Father! No!
Rod. <laughs> We've destroyed most of the enemy forces. I'll return to Navarro to report our success to Flamecon. Everyone, fall back for now. Wind! And now the wind returns. Elliot! What do I do? Where should I go? My father has always said that the Priest of Light in Windle has answers for those in need. He will surely know what my next move should be. Fallen countrymen to your care. Elliot is my responsibility. I wear my mother's ribbon with pride. May it protect me on my journey. Citadel Laurent fell to the agents of Navarro. The princess found herself without a home, a father, and her only brother missing. She set out to find him.